Mama Club here, and I am so, so excited to be showing off everything that we've been working on for the past few months. So, we have Jack and the Beanstalk. Our kids are so excited for you. They have been working so, so hard. I have had people change roles in the middle of the show. It's my own phone. <laughs> I've had people change roles in the middle of the show. I've had people join Drama Club in the middle of the show. I've had people leave Drama Club in the middle of the show. So we are so, so, so excited to have you all here for Jack and the Beanstalk. Please don't be like me and silence your phones. <laughs> um, we are recording in the back, so please be mindful of that. And without further ado, enjoy. Welcome one and all to our tale that is quite tall. For this show, you see, involves a shopping spree. It happened on any other ordinary day, or at least that's what they say. It started with a young lad named Jack, but on his shorts, he did slap. He lived with his mother, and she hated us every bit. She hated that he would sit. She gave Jack a chore, he messed it all up. He had no manners and always said, So, the mother moved his <laughs> footstool, which made Jack say, Ow. Then she said to her son, Go into town and sell the cow. Jack He's my only Jack pleaded with his mother. He's my only friend. And his mother replied, Milky Way is a sheep, go sell her the end. But this <laughs> is where our story begins. begins. But Mom, why do we have to sell Milky Way? Because we have no money for food. Mm -hmm. It's either we sell your friend and we get food, or we keep your friend and we all starve. Well, how about a starving room? <laughs> Is that cow in your room? No. <laughs> help that get in there. Take this cow into town so we have some food to eat. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Jack went to his room as mother began to sleep angry, frustrated at what her son had done. Then all of a sudden the ground began to shake. The ground began to break. And then a giant beanstalk shot into the sky. Jack, Jack came out of his room in shock. His mother was speechless and only pointed out the window. Jack was just as surprised as his mother. He then rushed outside to take a closer look. Climbing as fast as he could, he didn't stop until it reached the top. He couldn't. He needed to make sure him and his mother had all the food and money they so desperately needed.
Oh, what are we gonna do? You need to chop down the beanstalk. Who are you? That's the man who I got the beans from. Oh, so it's your fault that there's a giant in our midst. Who cares? We need to cut down that beanstalk now. Wait, what about my cow? I have the egg here for you. Oh, I see. You go chop down the beanstalk and I'll go get your cow. I would go quick. I tried to distract him, but he could be here any minute now. Never took any beans for changes ever again. And they all lived happily. 